Hi and welcome to part four of this user form course. Here I'm going to show you how to make a scrollable user form and control where it starts in the scroll position. So up here or in the middle or wherever you want when you load up the user form. And this will also work for making horizontal scroll bars. So ones that go left and right. And in the full version of this tutorial, I will also show you how to make a multi-page user form. It's a really great little feature, and there's lots of little things to pay attention to when you make it. And I also show you how to make a paragraph-style input so you can type pretty much naturally. And hit Enter, and input some more text. And that'll be saved in the worksheet as paragraph-style input so you can keep all of the formatting with it. And if you want to learn how to make this one, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to the course. Now let me close this workbook and we'll start with another one. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get all of my new tutorials. Now let's hit Alt F11 to go to the VBA window. And our base for this tutorial, what we use as the starting point, is the user form you've already made. So go ahead and make a user form, make it look good. It doesn't matter if you have a really, really big one. Make sure everything fits in there exactly how it should and go ahead and get everything working. So it doesn't matter that we now have a giant user form. Get everything working before we do this. Because to make it scrollable, it's just a few settings that we have to change. So it's not really that difficult. At least not compared to programming. And let's go to the Properties window. If you don't see that, go to View Properties window, or F4. Make sure you click the Form and not a Control on it. And note the height property right here, 434.5. So once you have everything positioned exactly how you want it, you're going to want to note the height property. Let me change this so I can get a more accurate number. All right, 273.5. And if you want to make a horizontal scroll bar, don't forget, right down here, width. So note the width property value, 235. And then what we're going to do is to go to the little section of properties that begins with scroll. And first up is scroll bars. So click that, drop down, and choose a horizontal, a vertical, or both scroll bars. So both horizontal and vertical. I'm going to go with a vertical scroll bar. And it looks like we have a scroll bar now, but we can't use it. So if we go to run this, it won't work. So the next thing is to adjust the user form to the size that you actually want it to be. So now we have some of the controls off screen. And then we just go over here to the properties window. And we take the height figure that we got a moment ago. And we put it in here for the scroll height property. So let's make that 273. Hit enter. And now we have a scrollable user form. But we have some extra space here at the bottom, so let's go ahead and just adjust that. And you can play with it as much as you need to, to make sure that everything fits on there how it should. And then when you run the user form, you will now have a scrollable user form. And note how it started like this, scrolled all the way to the bottom. So you can control its default scroll by scrolling here. If I want it in the middle, I do it like that, play, and it's in the middle. You want it at the top, go ahead and set it at the top, play, and there you go. Now, of course, you can reset all of that programmatically so that if you accidentally leave it here in design mode, you don't have to worry about it being like that when you run the user form. I'm not going to show you how to do that here, but it's very easy. You just set these properties using the VBA for the initialized user form event, and it's no big deal. But I cover these types of topics more in the full course and the full video, and there's a link to that below this video. Let's go ahead and talk about these properties now. So the thing that controls where it is when it scrolls is the scroll top property. Notice it's at 46 right now. If I go all the way to the top, it will be at 0. So we can set this here by hand as well and reset it back to 0. No worries. You also have scroll left and scroll width. 
If you're going to be using the horizontal scroll bars, go ahead and use those two guys, just like we used scroll height and scroll top. But as far as this is concerned, that's all there is to it. Go to the scroll properties, set their values, and you're pretty much good to go as long as you also resize the form. There's so many things you can do with user forms, but this is one of the easier things to do, and it can make larger user forms easier to manage and use and figure out how to go through, especially if you have a lot of inputs. Not necessarily the user form that I have right here, but maybe a series of text inputs all in a big column. And of course, the multi-page feature adds another dimension to that, but I cover that in the full course. So once again, if you're interested in that, check the link below this video, and that's all there is to this one.